Hello kids. This is Sparky and I am here to introduce our lesson today. Last week's lesson was really good. But this week we are looking at Peter's denial of Jesus. The following days were really bad for Peter because of feelings of remorse and sadness. Well boys and girls Professor Whoopi is going to come in just a moment and tell you more about today's lesson. Well this is Sparky and I will be back next week as we get into another kid's Bible story. See you, later kids. Hello boys and girls, this is Professor Whoopi and I'm here to whoop you up a big one for you today. Wow, I am excited. Now, the question today is, have you ever made a mistake and wished that you could go back and do it all over again so that you didn't make that same mistake? Well, in today's lesson, we are going to learn about Peter who made a big mistake. Peter, you see, was one of Jesus' first disciples, and he spent a lot of time traveling with Jesus. Well, kids, it's time for me to go, but I will be back to start our lesson later. Bye-bye. Thank you. 
Jesus is inside and we're out here. What now? Let's make sure nobody recognizes us. <laughs> what cowards! At first I was worried they'd put up a fight. Oh, but the cowards didn't lift a finger to help him. No. At the first sign of trouble, they ran away like frightened children. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about us. And lying. We did fight. At least we tried to. Don't I know you? You're one of the men who followed Jesus. One of his friends. You've mistaken me for someone else. Uh, I'm no friend of Jesus. I don't even know him. But I'm positive I've seen you with him. How could I have been seen with someone I've never even met? <laughs> Your accent gives you away, friend. You're from Galilee. You look familiar to me, too. Why don't you just admit it? You're one of the disciples. Back off. How many times must I tell you? I don't know, Jesus! I never did! I tell you that this night, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Oh no. What have I done? I deny Jesus. Just as he said I would. Kids, today let's dive into our lesson. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. All right. In the book of John, chapter 18, we're going to look at verses 15 through 18 and 25 through 27. Simon Peter and another disciple were following Jesus because this disciple was known to the high priest. He went with Jesus into the high priest's courtyard. But Peter had to wait outside at the door. The other disciple, who was known to the high priest, came back, spoke to the servant girl on duty there, and brought Peter in. You aren't one of these men's disciples, too, are you? She asked Peter. He replied, I am not. It was cold and the servants and the officials stood around the fire that they had made to keep warm. And Peter also was standing there with them, warming himself. Meanwhile, in verse 25, Simon Peter was still standing there, warming himself. So they asked him, You aren't one of his disciples too, are you? He denied it, saying, I am not. And one of the high priest's servants, a relative of the man whose Peter cut off his ear, challenged him. Didn't I see you with him in the garden? And again Peter denied it. And at that moment, a rooster began to crow. Whoa! Now, Peter watched Jesus perform miracles and heard him teach amazing lessons to huge crowds of people. Jesus was one of Peter's best friends, but Peter made a big mistake and turned against Jesus. When Jesus was arrested by some mean Jewish leaders, Peter followed to where they took Jesus to find out what was happening. And some of the people saw Peter hanging around and asked him if he was one of Jesus' disciples. You would think that Peter was proud to say, yes, he's my best friend. But instead, Peter said he did not even know Jesus. Whoa! You might be wondering why Peter would deny knowing his best friend. Well, one of the reasons is because he was scared. So kids, I'll be back in a few moments to wrap up our lesson today. Peter, one of the disciples of Jesus, wanted to see what happened to Jesus when he was arrested. While he was in the crowd of people, someone in the group asked, Are you one of Jesus' disciples? This happened three times, and all these times Peter said, No, I am not. 
Then Peter heard the rooster crow, and he remembered what Jesus said about him. Peter was so ashamed, and deeply saddened for what he did. After the resurrection of Jesus, he went to see Peter, to assure him that he was forgiven. You see kids, Jesus wipes away all our sin, and we have a clean start, on life. And we're back kids! So before we finish up our lesson today, now, let's look at some things here. First of all, the Jewish leaders wanted to kill Jesus. They hated him, and Peter was afraid that they would kill him too. But our story doesn't end here. When Jesus rose from the dead, he visited Peter and told him that he forgave him for his mistake and gave him a second chance. Believe it or not, Peter went on to be one of the major key leaders in the early church. Now kids, that was an awesome, amazing ending. That's right, if there is such an awesome, amazing ending, and I believe that it was, to Peter's problem, and yet the beginning for Peter to move into the greatest ministry that he could have ever had. Now kids, let's look at a simple illustration. Let's say that this guy on the left is Peter and he just denied Jesus three times. The rooster crowed and all of a sudden Peter realized what he had done and the fact that Jesus told him he would do it. Can you imagine the guilt and the shame that had to be so great that Peter knew that Jesus would never forgive him. But again, after Jesus rose from the grave, he found Peter, and once he did, Peter knew that Jesus forgave him. What an amazing simple illustration, but yet very powerful. So, remember, the next time you get into trouble and sin, Instead of staying in the pit of hopelessness, rise and ask Jesus to forgive you, just like Peter's case. Jesus was right there to forgive him, and he used Peter to spread the news of Jesus more than ever and taking his role in the early church. Now remember, when you ask for forgiveness, that Jesus is there to take and cleanse you and set you back on the right path. I have said this many times, and this is simply put, that God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are here to help you anytime you need help. So do not hesitate to call on them and let them help you. Whoa! It's been good to be with you today, kids. And it's time for us to go and just to wrap up the final stuff, this is Professor Whoopi, and we have definitely whooped up another big one for you today. All right. So, boys and girls, it's time to say goodbye. Avidaze, arrivederci, hasta la vega, hasta la miga. Is there such a thing as miga? And we now have Amiga, okay? And, oh, yeah, don't forget, kids, the best. Aruba Boo! Ha <laughs> oh, ha! Oh, 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 yeah! Oh, that's better than trying to say Rumpa Silston. Oh, well, although I did say it, didn't I? All right, well, anyways, let me get out of here because if not, I'm going to get in trouble. So, Boys and girls, remember that God loves you, Jesus loves you, the Holy Spirit is with you, and I love you too. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. Don't forget that. Have a good week. Bye-bye. This has been an OJO production. Thank you very much.